Hello friends, welcome back. Welcome back to Shiva School. I'm your mentor Pratap Bosley. Brings you the 12th lecture, and it is about the last organelle remained out of the cell, and that is the annulate lamellae. Although there is not much information about this annulate lamellae, but we will just have a, only one slide introduction or a lecture on this, so that we will complete almost every organelle inside the cell. Okay, so let's start. So this is the proposed structure of the annulate lamellae. So there are some synonyms to annulate lamellae also there. So what are these? The annulate lamellae also referred as the cisterni fenestrate because of the fenestration throughout its structure. Then the fenestrated lamellae, secondary membranes, pitted membranes, porous cytomembranes. So you can see all of these are referred by the same name of annulate lamellae. So these are frequently observed in rapidly dividing cells like germ cells, cells during differentiation, the cancerous cells, tumor cells. So all of these uh, annulate lamellae are observed in those cells only. And uh, let's see what uh, what is its structure. The structure is parallelly around nucleus and even some organs. See whatever these uh, annulate lamellae are there. See their structure is found to be uh, parallelly arranged around an uh, organelle. So many times it's a nucleus and it is they are just arranged around the this nuclear, right? Like this. Many times it, it, the recent research have also been shown that it is even around organ uh, around in a parallel way even around this endoplasmic reticulum also or some other organelles like Golgi also. Okay, so this is these are the field of continuous. Uh, the concentric arrangement of these uh, vesicles or the lamella are found. All of these are, so, suppose this is the rough endoplasmic reticulum, they are just found to be concentrically arranged around these organelles also, the annulate lamella. Okay, so this is the st structure found until now. And another thing is about this, it is a highly ordered and 6 to 10 parallel stacks of membrane. So all of these parallel stacks of membrane, these such 6 to 10 stacks are there, wherever they are uh, located. And they are highly ordered, means their structural arrangement is fixed, right? Next is the pores. So they also have these pores here, 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 here. Right? These are pores in their structure. And what is observed is that the structure is similar to the pores in the nuclear, nuclear envelope. These pores are structurally similar to the nuclear envelope pore. Then these, they are also often hexagonally arranged. These uh, pores are hexagonally and the structures arranged inside it. Right? So that is also observed hexagonally. Then they are frequently continuous with uh, rough endoplasmic reticulum. So whatever these pores are there, so they are just continuous with the, suppose this is the endoplasmic reticulum, the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Many times it is observed that these annulate lamellae are continuous with this rough endoplasmic reticulum. Here it would be the annulate lamellae and this part will be the rough endoplasmic reticulum. They are found to be in continuation with this rough endoplasmic reticulum, the structure, okay. Next is that they are, uh, the whatever the other things about these are, in the structure they have also the dense fibrillar material. So, so these are the dense fibrillar material inside their structure. They are found to be associated with this dense fibrillar network, okay. Next, these are the some of the whatever the available structural points about these annulate lamellas are there. Then let's see the characteristic. They, as we have already studied, they, they are parallel stacks of cisterni. They have the presence of pores arranged in a periodic fashion. The association of dense staining fibrillar material. They are associated with these fibers, the dense fibers. Right? Here you can see also. Here these are fibers. Okay. So these are the dense fibrillar network. About the function is that function and significance of these uh, remain unknown. So as I said, these are not much significant organelle which is said to be right now. Although 
they occur in the gametic cell or the uh, rapidly dividing cell so there must be having some significant role but we have not been successful to just find out it up till now although the research papers proposed many functions associated with it but right now we are not including that in our answer okay so this is about the annulate lamin in the next lecture we will study about the vesicular transport till then have a great day bye bye